Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about the MGCP protocol that is Media Gateway Control Protocol. So if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. So let's start with the let's start with the details about the MDCP that is Media Gateway Control Protocol. So as we know, uh, Media Gateway is a master slave protocol. So it's not a peer to peer. So everything depends on the CUCM, which is our master in this case, in the MDCP protocol case. So your master is uh, your call manager and your slave is uh, your gateway. That is a Media Gateway. So this Media Gateway contains simple endpoints which can be either analog voice ports or it can be a digital trunks as well, digital voice trunks. So in analog voice ports, that is FS, FXS ports, FXO ports, ENM, or digital one that is even T1, T1, PRI, T1, CAS, voice trunks, CAS that is channel associated signaling or the normal PRI. So we have we can have use even and T ones as well. So evens we are mainly using it in like uh, in the India region and for the T1 I can say US or the Canadian region. So in even as I believe you know that even we have 32 channels and in T1 we have 24 that is 23B plus D. B that is for bearer and D is for the signaling that is a data channel. Same in case of uh, even that is it contains 32B that means 30B and 2D. So 30 channels are mainly used for the bearer that is for voice and 2D that is a data channel that is for signaling, signaling and synchronization. So here, uh, after that we have uh, the call intelligence of these endpoints are provided by call agent that is your CUCM, the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. And it's a master slave relationship between the call agent and the media gateway. And those MDCP messages are sent over IP UDP between call agent and media gateway that is signaling plane. And voice traffic is carried over IP RTP that is data plane. Let's discuss about the MDCP endpoints. So MDCP endpoints are mainly the voice ports on an MDCP gateway. So here, as you can see, endpoints are voice ports on an MDCP gateway. And how we can define it, like uh, how we can add these gateways on CUCM, what should be the naming convention uh, for the analog endpoint identifier or the digital endpoint identifier. Let's discuss about that one. So as you can see, analog identifier is, that means this is an analog one, ALN analog, S1, that is slot one, subunit zero, and then the port number, that is a zero. At the rate MDCP hyphen gateway, that is, this is your host name and then dot cisco.com this is your domain name as you can see the endpoint is voice port one slash zero slash zero so one that is your slot one zero subunit zero and then zero this one that is your port one slash zero slash zero on a gateway with host name of mdcp gateway this is the host name and domain name of cisco.com like this one like this is our we can say this is our slot this is our slot one and these are the subunits like we have four subunits here. So this could be your slot one subunit zero subunit one subunit two subunit three and under this subunit you have a particular interface that is an interface of that particular port. So it could be this is one then you can say this is subunit zero and then this unit this interface that is zero so it combine we can call it as voice port one slash zero slash zero on a gateway with host name this one and the domain name of this one make sure you are using the same name on the gateway as well as on the cucm gateway like the gateway configuration your host name should be the same and on your cucm as well your host name should be the same only then it will be able to communicate with each other uh, digital endpoint identifier, we can say this is a slot one, DS1, this is a card DS1, and 0 slash 1 is a port number. At the rate, same thing that is host name and the domain name. Endpoint is B channel 1. On T1 controller, this is your controller 1 slash 0. On a gateway, same with host name of this one and the domain name of this one. So, this is like how we can configure these endpoints in this way, like the 
like we we are just adding the host name there but it will show module in slot one module in slot zero so we can identify with the help of this one then we have this thing mgcp messages so mainly we have uh, these three messages we can say the create connection modify connection delete connection like in a normal call like this is our uh, phone a and this is phone b then once phone a initiates the request this should be your create connection that is crcx and then your phone b will respond with a modify connection that is mdcx and then your phone a will respond if he wants to just disconnect it then he will send the message of delete connection so these are the mainly three messages in a normal call flow of mdcp these are all other messages as well endpoint configuration if you want to notify something notification request audit endpoint audit connection restarting so these all are the messages as well in the mgcp call these are the mainly three messages for a normal basic call create connection modify connection and delete connection then we have this thing that is mgcp pri backhaul here you can see this is your gateway this is your PSTN world and this is your CUSIM that is your internal world. So here you can see a layer two and framing terminates on gateway, framing and layer two signaling terminates at the gateway. Q921 status and Q931 signal back hold to the CUCM. So if there is an incoming call and your gateway doesn't know what needs to do, so it will send that call to the CUCM and it will check what he wants to do with that particular call this process we can call it as mgcp pri backhaul or isdn pri backhaul because gateway doesn't know anything but what he needs to do with that particular code so he will just send it to your cucm and then it will check what he needs to do with that particular code and then we have these mgcp messages which are over udp port number 2427 this mgcp over udp and we have PRI backhaul messages. This one PRI backhaul messages over TCP port number 2428. Then we have this thing that is ISDN PRI backhaul in iOS gateway. So here you can see Q921 terminates on gateway as we already discussed about this one in the previous slide. Q921 terminates on this particular gateway. And if there is a like a call that like Q931 is backhaul to uses UCM, then what it will do, this gateway will send that to the primary CUCM. That means a PRI backhauling. And Q931 backhaul, this is used for mainly call control and the UCM switch over. Switch over if your primary server is not available, then it will switch over to the secondary one. And this year, MTCP is mainly used for the media control and in-band signaling. Here your TCP connection to secondary UCM is used for the UCM switchover. So we are mainly using the TCP connection for the switchover. So like if this primary is not available, that, prime, that PRI backhaul will revert to, to the secondary one. As you can see it in this case, switch over to backup UCM. If no MGCP activity, one notify keep alive message is sent to primary CM every 15 seconds. So if this is like primary UCM is up at that point of time, but it still gateway will still send a keep alive message. And if he doesn't get a response from the primary CUCM server after two unacknowledged, then it will switch over to your secondary CUCM. One TCP keep alive is sent to primary UCM every 30 seconds for the reset slash restart notification. So if at this point of time your secondary is up everything is working on secondary cucm server pri pack or link boy mdcp everything is working on this secondary but your gateway is still sending the keep alive messages to the primary just to check whether that server is up or not if it is up then it will switch back over to the primary one so if the tcp connection fails it will switch over and one tcp keep alive is sent to secondary ucm server every 15 seconds for hot standby so once it's on the primary server it will again send it to the secondary just for a standby here you can see uh, it is just a switching over to the primary one the gateway keeps trying to establish a tcp connection with the primary cucm to this one once it's up as soon as it's success the gateway will send rsip message 
to switch back to primary CUC. So once it get a response from the primary, it will send a message, MGCP message to switch back to this particular primary CUCM server. The next thing is here, we can see that how we can uh, add our MGCP gateway on the CUCM. So for that, you just need to log in on your CUCM server, and then you can go to this device. And once you click on this drop down of device, you will be able to see the gateway option and once you click on that it will ask for a gateway type as you can see you can choose it so here we choose cisco 2811 <clears throat> so mainly you need to choose the hardware type of that gateway whether it could be 2811 3811 38 3945 3845 anything that depends on you like which gateway you are using in your environment so this is for the mdcp gateway but if you are using an h323 if you are using an S323 gateway, like you are configuring configuration on gateway as an S323, then you don't need to choose this gateway type as a hardware. You just need to choose gateway type as an H323 gateway. It will give you an option of H323 gateway on that particular gateway type. <clears throat> so once you choose the gateway type of 2811 for MDCP, it will ask to choose the protocol. It will show MDCP as well as SCCP. So you can choose the MDCP protocol and then you can click on next. <clears throat> Once you click on next, you will be able to see it will show this product and the protocol MDCP. Device name, it will show here. You need to use the same name which you are going to use it on the gateway. Only then it will communicate. It will get registered. Description, you can see anything. You can type it anything. And then you need to choose the call manager group as well. You can choose the default one, but that depends on your configuration, which call manager you wanted it to use. Then we have this thing that is module in slot zero. If you remember, we have this thing in the configuration uh, that is slot zero, then subunit one, then there is another uh, interface that is zero. This one is in our configuration S zero, then SU1, that is subunit one, then zero. This is our configuration in the previous slides. So slot zero, the first one, slot zero is this one. That is a VV card you need to choose. Once you choose this one and click on save, it will ask you to choose the subunit one. And once you choose the subunit one, it will, once you save it, it will uh, show you the interface ports and then you can configure those ports as well. Here you can see, we choose the module in slot zero, that is this one, that is for VWIC, and then we choose the subunit zero, that is VWIC two, three, or VWIC three, two MFT, T1, E1, T1. So then you can see after clicking on save, you will be able to see these two interfaces. And after that, you need to configure these interfaces as well. Just click on this interface part, this, this one or this one, and then you can just uh, open it and then you can configure it like this way. Once you open this one, it will show Cisco MDCP T1 or E1 port. Site one, that is a, a gateway. The device protocol, whether it could be the digital access PRI or a analog one. Endpoint name, it will show you this one like slot zero, subunit zero, DS1. Site one, this, should, this could be the host name which you just entered in the uh, previous slides. Device pool, you need to uh, choose it. Depends on your configuration. And then these all are the things uh, by default as there. <clears throat> and you can just, uh, uh, if you want to change it, you can, or you can change it later on as well. After that, you just need to click on save. Okay, after clicking on save, it will just show you like your gateway has been added. And then you need to do the MDCP gateway configuration on the gateway side. But before doing this gateway configuration, we need to, I uh, enter this one uh, in the, we need to add this one in CUCM and let me show you how we can add all these things in our CUCM. So this is our CUCM. I just logged in with the admin credentials. So what you need to do to add this particular gateway, you need to go to this device and then you can click on gateway. Here you can add this particular MDCP gateway. Once you click on this one, it will give you an options to add a new gateway. And once you click on find, it will show you all the gateway which are already configured there. 
but here we are going to add a new gateway so we will just add we will just click on this add new and once we click on add new it will ask like what what's the gateway type we need to choose here we are adding an uh, mgcp gateway then we will choose the hardware type but if we want to add as an h323 gateway then we will choose an option of h323 gateway let me show you uh, how it why is it, is it showing the h323 gateway or not here you can see if you are adding an h323 one you don't need to choose the hardware type you just need to choose the h323 gateway but here we are adding an uh, uh, mgcp gateway so let's just choose any hardware any hardware let's choose this one cisco 2811 and after clicking on this one gateway type and once i click on next it will ask for the protocol so i can choose the mgcp protocol click on next then it will give me uh, the lot of options to enter it like the host name cucm group and all other things so let's just add the host name in this one make sure you are using the same name on the gateway as well so we let me just add gateway one and it will just uh, show it in the description and you can change it as well in description then the first thing you need to choose that is ucm group so here i am going to choose the default one and then the first thing that is module in slot zero. Let me choose this one NM4 Vivic. And once I click on save, it will show me the module in like as of now it's showing slot zero. Then it will show you module in subunit. As of now it's it is just showing the slot zero. So once I click on save, it will give me an options of subunit to choose the subunit zero. And let me choose uh, like Vivic 1 MFT T1, Vivic 2 2 MFT T1, let me choose this one. And once I click on save, it will give me to configure the PRIs, prop, configure the proper interface. As we can say 1 slash 0 slash 0, then it will give me that proper interface. As you can see, it is showing 0 slash 0 slash 0, 0 slash 0 slash 1. So if I need to configure it, let me just click on this one. So after clicking on this one, it will give me an option like or it will show you as well how it like what's the path of this particular uh, interface. Let me just add this one digital access Steven. And once I click on next, it will give me like uh, where this VR is connected like slot zero like this one slot zero subunit zero DS one at the rate gateway one gateway one. That is my host name, which I just configured which I just entered here I can choose the uh, device pool as a default one and all other things are there but there is no need to change anything right now so like that depends on again on your configuration you can change it and then you can just click on this one save so once you click on this one oh it's showing the access has been denied so yeah it will be you can you can just add it in this way after clicking on this one uh, you choose the device pool, you choose the interface ports, and then you can just click on save, then this port will be configured. It's not showing because I had nothing is like getting connected with that particular thing. So we cannot configure it right now. So we can configure this particular proper MGCP protocol, MGCP gateway on our CUCM. And uh, let's just go back and we will check whether it's showing the gateway is gateway has been added it or not so as of now we just did not configure that this particular uh, port but our gateway has been added so let's just go back to the list so that it will show whether my gateway has been added it or not so once i go back to this find list i just need to click on the find it will show you all the gateways which are being added under this list gateway options it will surely show uh, the gateway which I just added. That is a GW1, the name. Naming convention should be same on this particular uh, CUCM as well as on your gateway. Is the here, you can see that this GW1. This is another one which, we, which I added it earlier. So this is the one which I just added it. So in the next lecture, I will show you uh, all the configuration on the gateway and all the commands as well, what all are the commands needed to make a connection between this uh, CUCM 
and the uh, MGCP gateway. Here, once once everything is being settled, everything is configured on the gateway, it will show you it is registered with the IP address as well. So in the next lecture, we will discuss about all the configurations on gateway. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something related to the MGCP as well. If you really like it, please like, share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.